Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia, and today I'm going to talk to you about a relatively new feature in Cubase known as Instant Transient Navigation. This feature was introduced in one of the more recent versions of Cubase, so some people may not be fully aware of it, so I'm going to just do a quick overview in this video. Thanks to the new Instant Hit Point Navigation function, you can now tab to different transients on audio events in the project window. And here's how it works. When you import or record some new audio material, hit points are automatically calculated in the background. There is a preference for this as well, if your version supports this, but that's not what's happening. You could simply go to the File drop-down menu, then Preferences, go to the Editing section and choose Audio. And here you can see we have a checkbox entitled Enable Automatic Hit Point Detection. So just make sure that's checked. And then from there on out, whenever you import or record new audio material, the hit points will be automatically generated. Now there's a keyboard shortcut, of course, for navigating forward and backwards between these hit points. And that would be on the PC, Alt-B to go back, or Alt-N to go forward or next. If you're on a Mac, of course, that would be Option-B to go back and Option-N to go forward. Of course, you could think of hit points as markers for each transient in your material. These allow you to create slices where each slice is going to represent each individual sound or beat. Usually drums or other rhythmic recordings or loops will work best with this feature. Once you've detected the hit points, you can do a bunch of useful things. Change the tempo of the audio material without affecting pitch, extract timing from a drum loop, or just simply extract sounds from loops. And then once you've extracted them, you can further edit them in the audio part editor, of course. So we've been talking about Instant transient navigation, and of course, the subheading of this tutorial would be the automatically detect hit point function that Cubase now includes. So once again, to move forward, once the hit points have been created, is Alt-N on the PC, Option-N on a Mac. To move backwards would be Alt-B on a PC and Option-B on a Mac. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. This is Jeff from Obedia. Thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.